Hi everyone, I am Rajesh Kumar. I am having close to 16 plus years of experience in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. I have worked with more than 12 software organizations around the globe. I would like to introduce you all a DevOps School's a flagship certification program in DevOps, SRE and DevSecOps. Uh, this program will get started in the weekends. Uh, so get involved. Uh, please contact us on the phone number given on the screen. And in fact, you can email us on, on the contact at the rate of DevOps School. So today I'm going to teach you Ansible. Okay. So this is the one of the tool which we have to learn and for the deployment. So last sessions, uh, I think uh, we spent some time with testing tool, JMeter and Selenium. But uh, before that, we have to deploy the applications also. So for that, we need to learn Ansible. So what is Ansible? So typically Ansible, we say, it's a configuration management tool but uh, when when you uh, read this configuration management tool that means what kind of configuration you are trying to manage from here so using ansible you manage the server's configuration yes not a server servers multiple servers configuration then you will ask next question okay what is is what is uh, there in the server uh, so we manage their configurations so i think this question you know well what is there in the server server or any machines any machines with what you can find any virtual machines or something you can find files different types of files you find directories you find services right you find packages, multiple packages you want. You find users, you find group, this, that, and all. Many things you find, right? So this is something what you find in the servers. And using Ansible, you manage the configurations of it in a multiple server. That's the reason uh, we call it Ansible. is a configuration management tool. Now, if you look at this, uh, this is from the company called Red Hat. And uh, now this tool is written in Python. So if you want to customize anything, you have to know the Python. And in fact, Python is a part of the DCP certification program, right? So this is written in Python. Now here we have a multiple religious. So one religion we call it Ansible. Another one is called Tower. Another we call it A W x not s x these are the religious which we have so out of which we will learn first one so what is this first one this is the command line tool it's a free okay and uh, you can use it as long as you want it and stuff like that this is a ui tool actually and it's a paid okay. this is the ui tool and it's a paid and uh, this is also ui but it's free so then you will say what is the difference between tower and aws so what happened tower and aws you have a very little difference and the difference is aws is a latest version of tower i repeat aws is a latest version of tower that is not tested and you won't get support for it so what happens whenever uh, Red Hat team do the new product uh, release for the tower that they name it AWX and then without a support they release in the market. So this is something which you have. Okay. So this is a hands -on. So did you understand that all of you? Any questions? Any doubts? Yeah. Okay okay so now next thing is why do we use it why answer simple i'll not complicate with the keywords here and there simply we use for for deployment in multiple server anything you want to deploy in the multiple server for that we use ansible typically if you want to configure configure server you know 
configure multiple server parallel so you can use this uh, you know ansible so this is the primary use for ansible now next thing is uh, ansible architecture that means how ansible works that we need to understand so in every architecture we are there so this is us we are human and we connect it to acs and then acs connect to ars so now the question is what is acs so you can say as a control server okay ansible control server you can say and what is ars it's a remote server where the changes you are trying to post it remote server okay so this is something so now that's next thing you will say okay how this works basically so ansible control server has to be linux all the time 64 bit linux this it can be windows also or linux also no problem now here it should be having python installed because i told you right and is written in python so you need to have a python installed by the way most of the linux coming is, is coming up with a build in build python and here depends on it if it is a linux you need a python but if it is a windows then you need uh, winrm plus uh, visual dot uh, net dot net 4 dot x or something powershell 2.5 or something powershell 2.5 powershell also has a multiple version a quick question is ac yeah. is the build server and ar is the actual production server uh ars will be your actual production server and ecs will be the server from where you want to deploy to ars or let's say a build and deployment server okay Ha, it can be build server also in ci model but it can be a server for for pushing the package to thousands of machine uh, uh, so that you can call it control server or something like that. Got it? Hey, yeah, got it. Thank you. Yeah. So this is the yes. So this is a control server, this is a remote server, and all stuff like that. So next thing is, uh, so this is the prerequisite. Now next thing is how they interact with each other. That means how this ACS will talk to ARS. So this is, we call it connection actually, okay. Method, connect method. So if it is a line X ACS connect through SSH default. And if it is a Windows, then ACS connects to WinRM. WinRM is a uh, one HTTP protocol which is installed in most of the Windows nowadays. And you have to activate it and it's receiving the packet on the HTTP. So it's in Windows side. And as such, I think by now you know that Linux. So this is something how it is connecting by default. So now next thing is, okay, what are the component component of ACS? So ACS will have component which is called Ansible. So whenever you install Ansible, uh, I'll show you the demo, then that is the ACS, Ansible is installed here. That means 
uh, there's nothing you can install in ARS. Like there's no agent as such needed because they connect to, you know, SSH, Win, RM and all. So component of ECS, Ansible is needed. When you install Ansible, you will get Ansible executable also. Multiple executables, you get it, I'll show you. And then you will get modules also. And then you will get plugins also. And then config file also. All these four components, you get it. Okay, so these are all things also, I'll talk about it. So all these things, you'll get it when you install Ansible. And after that, you'll have to write one playbook. This I'll teach you playbook and then you need to have one file which is called inventory file and so on so that's all these are the components of ACS that means in a simple way if I say you means human will install Ansible will get this one will create a playbook and inventory and that's all and your Ansible is done now next question uh, you might ask what is modules what is play plugins what is config file what is playbook all this stuff. so this we have to learn so what is executable executable is like ansible executable ansible executable uh, you know which you want to use it for the use cases many executables are there like ansible ansible hyphen playbook ansible hyphen doc ansible hyphen galaxy I feel have it. Many many utilities are there for use case are different. Okay, so now what is a modules? So I'll put it in a simple way. Modules is a code. Now primarily it's written Python for Bash shell, Bash PowerShell, PowerShell. Uh, so Python I said so it's for Windows. Oh, sorry Linux and PowerShell for Windows. Primarily it's written in this, but it can be literally written in any languages actually. So module is a code, piece of code, I'll just say, B -I -E -C, piece of code. And uh, plugin is also piece of code. And what is the difference here? So module is a piece of code which runs in ARS and plugins is a piece of code which runs in ACS. Are, are you understanding? These are the code itself, but one code which runs in ARS with parameter by user, and this is the code for adding more feature to answer. You understand? So any feature if you want to hello, add. Hello. Yeah. Rajesh. Yeah. Uh, please, can you explain to me the difference between the ARS and then ACS? I know the ARS is a Ansible remote uh, server and then the ACS is the Ansible control server. Uh, and then uh, by the direction uh, description, the human yeah. being interact with the ACS, the control server. And the control yeah. server controls the remote server. Is it correct? Right. So this is okay. a this is ACS. We use terminology, you can call it server also if you are not comfortable. ARS. ARS okay. is can be Windows, Linux. This has to be Linux. This is the ACS. And in the ACS, only all these components are there. Here you install Ansible. Here you have inventory file. Uh, here you have playbook. Here you have all this stuff. Got it? Okay. So this one server has to be dedicated for the server role. And this is the this is the server where you want to configure the server. You want to deploy your software or whatever it is. Okay. So now this is something. Yeah. So now coming back to the modules and plugins. So module is nothing but a code. Plugins is nothing but a code. 
but the module code which runs in a ARS. If you would have any issues with our channel membership, you can drop an email to us at contact at devopschool.com or you can also unsubscribe from channel membership anytime if you don't want to continue or did not like the video. Please be kind enough to like it and you can comment any of your doubts and queries. We will reply to them at the earliest. Thanks for watching.